Hey guys, quick update. I've been home for a couple days on Easter break. Um, I haven't had time to uh, put together a formal demonstration and explanation, but I'll show you guys what I've been up to lately. Now, freshman year is almost over and I'll have about two months this summer home to uh, do some experiments, relax. Now, in college, my professor and I have been working on a research project that involves making what are called stereoselective catalysts. And they, they're activated by electron withdrawing groups, groups that snatch electrons from the rest of the molecule. Now, this relatively recently discovered group, um, the pentafluoro sulfanyl group, is what we'll be using. It is an SF5 group. We're making this 1-bromo-3,5-dipentafluorosulfanyl benzene as the precursor. It involves a lot of really fun experimentals, you know, making nasty smelling thiols, bubbling chlorine through solution, even using um, fluoropolymer glassware uh, to prevent the resulting HF from eating through the labware. I've been doing a little bit of organic chemistry in here too. I've got about 100 milliliters of diethyl ether here, formerly used as, as an anesthetic, now mostly just used as a solvent. Got a very strong, dryly sweet smell to it. Very volatile. And I'm sure you guys will like this one. I've made myself a little bit of nitroglycerin. Now this is just the very small scale from the initial test. I'll have a uh, more complete video on it later on. But this is the active ingredient in dynamite. This oily white liquid you see in the bottom. It's very very sensitive in its pure form without any stabilizers to, sh to detonation by shock and friction. So if I take a little bit of nitroglycerin Put it onto a brick and give it a good whack with a hammer. Very powerful stuff. What you just saw was the explosive decomposition of this molecule. Um, this molecule was first synthesized by. Alfred Nobel. Now, oh, I'm going to practice stabilizing it with um, a few different absorbents and uh, antiacids, um, otherwise known as bases, and then I'll put out a good complete video on this. This stuff's a lot of fun, but must be handled with extreme caution. As you just saw, it is very sensitive stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the summer.